closer to home in the big mountain backyard. Just stagnant air out there. No breeze. Current temperature 107 in Sacramento, 108 Stockton, 107 Modesto, 106 in Marysville, and 91 in Tahoe. The reason it's so hot, no activity, but that does mean that we don't have any fire risks that are too high. We do have an elevated fire risk, but the danger a little bit lower without those winds, which keeps things a little bit hotter, five miles per hour in Sacramento. No big gusts to report except 31 over San Francisco. And unfortunately, no relief this evening with any overnight lows. Temperature tonight is still going to be 70 in Sacramento, 65 Elk Grove, 61 Stockton, 73 in Jackson, 82 in Placerville, 73 in Roseville, and 79 in Auburn, 70 in Marysville. So unfortunately, going to have to keep running those air conditioning units overnight. And we are going to see a little bit of wind pick up as we make our way into Saturday. But unfortunately, this is the Delta breeze, which usually cools us in Sacramento, just missing the curve there. As we see wind 22 miles per hour in Fairfield, 20 Vacaville, and 12 in Elk Grove for Saturday day. And then Sunday, again, we're just a little bit out of reach there as we see our typical wind activity in Fairfield. And then Sunday into Monday, we will finally start to get a little bit more airflow, which is going to kind of move that heat a little bit out. So we'll start to see a bit of a cool down on Tuesday, but a cool down is still triple digit, just not as hot. If you're making plans for tomorrow for the rest of the holiday weekend. Here are your temperatures, 105 in Groveland, 109 in Sonora, 104 in Twain Heart, 103 in Arnold, 110 in Jackson, 108 in Placerville, 102 in Pollock Pines, 104 in Forest Hill, 106 in Nevada City. A reminder that it is today and tomorrow that are going to be the hottest temperatures during this heat wave. We do have the record today at 108, dating back to 2007. We are very close to breaking that. We'll have to wait and see what the final temperature ends up being today. Heading to the Bay Area for a little bit of heat relief. Still 80 in Oakland, 72 in San Francisco, 96 in Napa, 101 in Fairfield, 110 in Vacaville, 107 in Rio Vista and Antioch, 112 out in Tracy. We have pretty much about 111 from Lodi to Galt, Elk Grove, 110 in Sacramento, 113 up in Roseville and Folsom, and 110 in the Eldorado Hills, 115 out in Yuba City, 109 in Davis, 113 in Turlock, 114 in Patterson, 106 in Modesto. So we have our weather impact days going to Tuesday. Tuesday, 11 p.m. is when we see the heat advisory and heat warning go away, but it is possible that the National Weather Service could extend into the rest of the week as we continue to see temperatures in the triple digits. We are chasing the record for more than 11 days of triple digit heat. That is, could be very likely for us. And we also chase a record for how many days over 110 as well. So those are your plans. And one more look as a reminder to tell your loved ones to check in on them for Tropical Storm Burl. Laura. All right, Devin Truby, thank you. California weather is a land of extremes. From dangerous heat, droughts, and wildfire. To severe storms, flooding, and mountains of snow. Plus, the occasional tornado. Keeping you prepared takes a team. We have decades of experience forecasting this diverse region. Our job doesn't stop at the forecast. We investigate what's happening to our climate so you can be ready. Helping you prepare for today and stay safe tomorrow. With a weather team you can trust only on ABC 10. Hi, I'm Alex Bell. Join me weeknights at 630 on To The Point. Instead of just reporting on the problems, we cut through the noise and look for solutions. We're not afraid to investigate local stories. We're not afraid to include different perspectives. We're not afraid to hold those in power accountable. This is your community and it's my community too. And we're here to make it better for everyone. Join me, Alex Bell, on To The Point weeknights at 630 only on ABC 10.